Hello everyone! Again, Hello. of course, it's weekend and uh, we're going to have another review. Um, this is quite uh, unique. Yes. Yeah, this is quite unique because uh, what we're going to review right now are uh, perfumes mm -hmm. that are uh, Middle Eastern. Niche perfume. Yes. yes. Uh, from Dubai, mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from Dubai. So, uh, we decided to do this because uh, we realized that uh, we're having uh, perfumes already and uh, we did not notice that uh, uh, it's, it's beginning to be a collection uh, for us. So, this time we're going to review the Middle Eastern perfumes that we have mm -hmm. uh, on our collection. So, let's start our Pau Bango! Let's uh, do our uh, review now mm -hmm. and the reason we did this is because Middle Eastern perfume are not really commonly uh, commonly uh, used here in the Philippines but mm -hmm. there are people who are beginning to uh, like. like it Our and RPG. yes and they are including it actually in their ano, uh, collection. collection yes yeah, kaya meron na yung mga actually perfumes to Marley is an Arabian uh, is an uh, Middle Eastern perfume oh, perfumes to Marley wow. uh, Sergio Sergio yes. yeah and Sergio also and uh, Armaf which is beginning to make a name because of their clones for Crida Bentus mm. uh, most of this and Latafa so we're going to look into this and uh, let's see how it will uh, create a an excitement to other uh, perfume lovers. So I will start off with something that is not actually known. Uh, this comes from uh, Dubai. When my when one of our friend uh, went to Dubai, uh, we decided to ask na, uh, to buy a perfume. So this one uh, is a Shea Oud uh, of Jean Paris this one uh, I think this is a dupe of something that I really don't know what type of perfume uh, this is quite cheap mm -hmm. so uh, I decided to check on this so I asked him see if you can go and buy it so that we can check on it and uh, let's see how it goes so I'm going to spray it here and let Shasha uh, decide if this is something for but remember Middle Eastern perfume is not really for everyone it will depend on the notes of the perfume and uh, uh, the strength oh, yeah because it's, this one is a Shea Oud so Shasha mm. I like this something like that uh, I, we cannot find the notes of this in Fragrantica so I really just try to focus on what we get from this and uh, look for the original Shea Oud so mostly uh, it has that honey and Oud uh, it's an amber wood uh, Oud and uh, honey you can smell it and going to the dry down uh, that is where it's really uh, gonna be more prominent and um, with this one, this is not an everyday perfume, mm -mm. and uh, this is quite strong. Mm -mm. Uh, I tried this once actually uh, when I was with Ayala. Uh, I tried this, and we were in the elevator, and somebody who have already went to Dubai uh, made a comment, "What is that you're wearing?" And uh, mm. uh, he noticed that uh, my smell has a Middle Eastern uh, scent yeah yeah and uh, he said if somebody would smell it uh, that is not familiar with Dubai may not appreciate it and then that was a good uh, thing you know because I really did wear it that day so that I would know how people will react so summer days no never use this in summer no not, not in the heat but on colder weather, wearing suits and all leather chairs, that's how I see this. You know those places that are quite dim and then they have those leather chairs? Ah, yeah. yeah. 
And then most people are smoking yes. cigars. Yeah. Yes. And, and then we're talking about cigarettes. I'm talking about Big cigar. Uh, cigar. Yeah. Tobacco. Yes. The Something like that. Yes. So this will uh, fit that. But uh, for daily use, no. It's a no. <laughs> it's a no. Yeah. Uh, is it good? Is it, it? This is good for those who are in that category. But as a general uh, category or general rule, I don't think this will work. Yeah. It's sweet, but when it's in the skin, it's kind of different. I did it once. I did that. And I hate it. And <laughs> yes. I said, please don't wear it again. Yeah. Because I don't but like the smell. On the paper, a while ago, she said, it's good because it's in the paper, but yeah, but on the skin, no. Yeah, and it's when it's hot, no, no, no. 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 All right, so this is Shake Wood by Jean Paris from Dubai. Okay, so it's my turn. So for me, it's Raed. So I got only the sample of this one. So for Raed. Um, this is a Raid Lux by Latapa Perfumes. It's an amber spicy fragrance for women and men. So actually this is a unisex perfume. Raid Lux was launched in 2019. So top notes are juniper, pineapple, watermelon, jasmine, silk, tree blossom, and pink pepper. Middle notes are lavender, Herbal notes and cinnamon. Base notes are amber, ice, vanilla, vetiver, strawberry, tonka bean, moss, chestnut, and sandalwood. So for this perfume, uh, this is really fit for women and men. And I think um, this can be worn by early 20s, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's good. It's good. It's I good. like it. Yeah. But for high school or college, I'm not sure. Maybe for working. Working only for the corporate and yeah. up. But for younger ones, I cannot recommend this. Yeah, because this will make them more mature. Yeah, and quite strong for them. So for early 20s and who are working in corporate, this can be worn. Or someone who is working outside or on-site field or like... I think it's more like engineers who work mm. in a construction. Yeah, this is a gay perfume. Yeah, this is a good one. Actually, kind of sweet, musky, and the amber. I can smell in this perfume. So, it's a yes for me. <laughs> nice. It's nice. Yeah. So, let me go na ma'am with another one. Uh, this is also from Jean Paris. This is Sheik Al- Arab. Sheik Al I think this is also a dupe of Sheik Al Arab. I just don't know again the the uh, original, the OG uh, perfume for this one. But again, this is from Dubai. Uh, uh, it's included with this when when it was uh, bought. So let's try this. <laughs> Musky and sweet. Yes. I like it. With this one, uh, I tried to look for something that is close and um, it's almost uh, right. It has saffron, rose, cacao, leather, agarwood, caramel, uh, olibanum, vanilla, mm. and amber wood. This one is quite fresh actually uh, the only thing that uh, that made me well uh, kind of disappointed is that it did not last longer as I thought it would be because I like it uh, I like the smell of this one this is quite good and it's not really offensive but I think it will better work in a colder place Weather. Yeah, colder weather. Um, uh, summer, maybe a little bit, but because it has some uh, fresh uh, mood, something like that, and uh, it can be good. But this one, if uh, I would uh, define this, this is luxurious in a smell. 
uh, especially I guess if the original uh, I would get my hand. so if anybody who knows all the names uh, like uh, Sheikh Al Arab and Sheikh Ud uh, you know the original of those one please uh, put in the comment section so so we can check it out also uh, it's good for me uh, it's it's not offensive uh, it's just um, luck performance when it comes maybe because it's a price it's not that uh, uh, expensive mm -hmm. so that's what I'm uh, looking at but it's like just a cologne for me yeah mm -hmm. but I like the scent of this one I love the scent uh, it's just the performance. performance the longevity yeah. yeah okay for women um, I have a perfume here which another sample so this is a young perfume or the parfum. Mm, like it. You can smell it. So a young perfume for women. So a young by Latafa ADP for women is made in Dubai. So top notes are cardamom, black pepper, coconut, and middle notes are peonies, orange, blossom gardenia, coconut. And the base notes are white mass, amber, and sandalwood. So that's why I really like it because of the peonies first and the white mass and amber and sandalwood. Yeah. So it's really good and kind of sweet and long projection since it is all the puffo. Yeah. So I like this perfume and I would really recommend this for women. All right. So, uh, the next three that I'm going to uh, show later on uh, have somewhat we have already uh, reviewed here. So, I'm just going to show because uh, some may not be aware of that this came from Dubai and this is one of them is Ultima. Ultima is a fresh aquatic. It has sea notes. Yeah, and on the dry down, it's, it, uh, no, it explodes. Um, with like a burning wood, something something that of feel. So I look for the notes of this one. This is a, a woody aromatic fragrance. And let's see the notes. It has uh, sea notes, mandarin, orange, and grapefruit fruits. Uh, for middle notes are jasmine and bay leaf. Base notes are uh, ambergris, oak moss, uh, guayac, wood, and patchouli. So it's kind of new uh, notes for me, especially the guayac in the, in the dry down. Uh, it's good actually. We, I used this also aside from Nautica Voice when we went to Boracay. Mm. And uh, it did not disappoint me because the longevity, longevity of this one is really, really good. Uh, it's eight hours almost so I want to Chasha to see or smell this one yeah. on the paper yes it's a fresh one yeah it has C notes in the opening so it's kind of re refreshing. refreshing yeah this is perfect for summer yes very much it's really good uh, on, on summer days. Uh, I don't think it will be offensive. Uh, just maybe don't try to over spray, I guess. But uh, I'm beginning to move into that direction of spraying so much because I love the perfume. But again, of course, we have to consider people surrounding us. Uh, it may not be... Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. So again, this is uh, uh, Ultima. Ultima Here you go. perfume. Yes. So this is Ultima perfume by Swiss Arabian. Ultima Swiss. Yeah, it's a good So again, this is uh, Ultima by Swiss Arabian for men. So this is really good, and I love this perfume. Okay, so it's my turn. Uh, for the third one, it is Sir Joff mm. Casa Morati Lira. So I will spray this. 
Uh, actually, this is one of the niche perfume that I really like. Mm. So, for Sir Joff, uh, the main accords are citrus, caramel, vanilla, sweet cinnamon, powdery, soft spicy, fresh spicy, warm spicy, and balsamic. So, this is a uh, amber floral fragrance for women. So, it was launched in 2011 and the nose behind this fragrance is... Chris Morris. Top notes are blood orange, bergamot, and lavender. Middle notes are cinnamon, licorice, and jasmine. Base notes are caramel, vanilla, and mask. So the reason why I like this perfume is because of the citrus smell that you can smell here, the which is the top notes. And at the same time, it is spicy. And there is vanilla and musk. Mm -hmm which is uh, perfect for summer as well and perfect for women. Ah, this can be worn by students if you want. Um, college students, yes. High school, yes. Yeah. But, of course, since surge of perfume is kind of pricey in the market, to yes. be honest. So, that's why I just tried it as a decade first before uh, I tried to purchase the big bottle so yeah that's the reason why we tried decade first to check if it is good or not so there Sergio is very expensive mm -hmm. one of the luxury yes. uh, perfume. perfume niche perfume niche perfume yeah actually if you want to check it out uh, you can check it in Shangri-La, mm -hmm. uh, Art of Scent, there is there are Serge Off in there and I yeah. already tried it and uh, the smell is really really good. Perfect. It's a luxury and a woman who can wear this is someone who is really elegant and sophisticated. Yes. So if somebody or someone around you, you do not want to know what is your perfume, then Niche Perfume or Serge Off Perfume is a good one. Yeah, actually it will make you unique. Yes, actually that's why it's a niche perfume. Yeah. It's a rare one in the market. The next one is one of my favorite is is Rasa Sidari. Yes. Already used this also in Burakai when <laughs> I have It my... feels like it's your favorite. Yeah. It's the, the Deccan. Yeah. Yeah. She 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 uh, introduced this one to me in the mm, day Yeah. And, and uh, then he bought the big bottle. Because I love the smell. Yes, like it's this. really good. This is quite uh, unique for my nose. Uh, in fact, it has a uh, similarity to other uh, designer fragrance, but fragrance. But uh, this is really good. So again, for Rasasidari. Let's go to the opening of this one. Top notes are the are cumin, uh, cardamom, and artemisia. For the middle notes are rose and orris root. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, um, amber, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. So this is really, really good for summer days. Actually, I like it for summer. Uh, it has a very good scent uh, and that's why uh, I recommend this for everyone who uh, who would like to experience something new and may I just say that Rasasi Darish is not super expensive. You can buy it's this cheap. online yeah. and uh, you will not worry about your bank account with this one. Wow. This is not uh, so expensive. But the thing is, you cannot also buy this uh, in any store here in the Philippines except on online, online stores. So go to Lazada and Shopee if you are looking for this one. Yes. It's really good. I like it. And uh, hopefully another Rasasi I can buy, uh, which is uh, Hawas. I want to try that one also in a bottle. So uh, Rasasi is a very good perfume. 
It's in East yes. and it's not expensive. So you can try it, you can check it out, you can check the reviews. Mm -mm. You can try also the deck at first before buying the full bottle. Yes. Okay. And what can I add for the sassy is that for those who are sporty, who are athletic, or more on outside activities, you can wear this. I think I can recommend this for high school or college students as well. Even those who work in the hospital, if it is allowed in your hospital, you can wear this because it's citrusy and clean smell. Yeah, yeah it's clean. It's although, not offensive for everyone. Although it has that vanilla, mm -hmm. sweetness of vanilla, it's not really sticky yes. uh, sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's why it's also good in summer. Alright, next. So, next is Tipsy Tarantula. This is from our friend Nixon, Dias, yes. uh, who formulated this perfume. Actually, he is a vlogger as well, a uh, smelly cat, if you are familiar with him. Uh, that is his channel. So, for Tipsy Tarantula, mm. I, I, like, I love this one. Mm. <laughs> I like it mm. so sweet. Yeah. I so like for tipsy tarantula, mm. um, this is a unisex perfume, by the way, and the top perfume are nashi pear, apple, almond blossom, cinnamon, and saffron. The middle notes are amaretto, coconut, hedion, nutmeg. And raisins and the base notes are tonka, amber, vanilla, leather, and musk. Again, um, the reason why I really like this perfume is because of vanilla and the musk key, uh, scent that you can uh, smell in this perfume. It is re really recommendable, especially this summer. And if you really want a sweet smell, Yes, it's a good one. I can really recommend this for those who love vanilla and for those who are high school students. Yes, you can wear this. Uh, those who are in college or young professionals, 30s, 40s, no age limit, you can wear this. But please don't wear those who are still teenager or in young age. No, it's a no. But for high school, college, this is a good one. I really like this. It's a yes for me and yeah, tipsy tarantula. Alright. So the next one is also from NXN. So again, this is smooth wood. So for Ooh. for NXN uh, perfume like this too. Uh, we have a separate videos for for the for the two, so mm -hmm. you can check yeah. this uh, check it out. This one is for smooth wood. Yeah, so this is smooth wood. Yeah, that's how you check it. And for the notes, these are the notes of this. It's already here in the bottle. So this is berries, Thai rose, cypriol, patchouli, sandalwood, and wood. So the wood in this one is not an offensive type of wood. So yeah. This is actually good. Mm, yeah. Uh, it has a nice cup. It's wood. Yeah, I love it. This is one of my favorite perfume. Uh, although I try to not to overuse this one because this is just 50 ml. <laughs> so uh, this is one of my favorite. Uh, because I have other wood fragrances and I'm planning to buy uh, another uh, perfume from NXN, NXN. so I'm still uh, 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 preparing for it uh, it's quite different but I have already used this one and um, somebody made a compliment because of smooth wood uh, it's, it's really uh, elegant smelling perfume yeah, so this is smooth wood again from nxn and that is smelly cat yeah, you can check out his youtube channel 
Alright. Alright. For me, last but not the least is Royal Dra Dress. Royal Dress. Dress Silk Perfume. Mm -hmm. Which is made in UAE or United Arab Emirates. So let's try this one. Mm. <laughs> I can actually smell it here. Mm. So this perfume actually, we mm -hmm. tried to search for it. The available notes for this, however, I cannot find it. So, okay, I will just try to uh, check or try to give to you what are the scents that I can smell from here. So for this perfume, actually, I really like it. I think there is vanilla here, amber and musk and most of all citrusy. Which is, I really like it. Take note, um, the first time I used this in the office, which is after 4 hours. So we took our lunch and I think I sprayed it 5 times. So the moment I passed with my colleague, because I have to hurry, I have to go to my workstation. She said, I like that smell, it's good. What is your perfume? And then I say it's Arabian or it's made from UAE perfume. And and then I said, I'm sorry, but I forgot the name because I'm not really familiar with it. But take note, she really likes it. Yes. And it's quite a good one. And that time, it's just the first time that I, I spray this and I use this. So it's a perfect perfume. Especially those who love vanilla, something sweet, something citrusy, moss, vanilla, amber. Mm -hmm. I really like this perfume. But if you will ask me who can wear this, well, I can recommend this for high school, college student, and for those who are working. It's a best perfume, plus long lasting and cheaper price. So if you are trying to look for this, yeah, you can uh, buy for this, but I think it's online. And if you have a friend or relatives around UAE, then you can ask them to buy it for you. Yeah, sadly, it's not really uh, available right now in the market, especially here in the Philippines. It's not uh, really uh, totally uh, available right now. So that's why it's hard to get some niche perfume from Dubai or Middle Eastern perfumes so they are nice. so there you go those are uh, our five five perfumes there you go these are our Middle Eastern perfumes yes. and uh, we love this you know we just have to choose when mm -hmm. um, when where where <laughs> <laughs> because and this... with whom yes yes this is something you cannot just uh, uh, spray on any time that you like. Mm -hmm. Maybe some, for some maybe it's yes, you can use it but uh, anytime. But for others, uh, you have to know where. Where, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, don't spray or over spray this on a secluded area or small area or uh, yeah, small area or small unit. Please don't do over spray. Don't do over spray. You can over spray this in a large crowd, in a big crowd, as long as there is space so that it can burst out, especially during this summer. Okay. Yeah, all right. Especially sweet perfumes. Yes. Don't over spray it on a summer unless it's fresh. Fresh and somehow citrusy. citrusy. Yes. yes. All right. So that's. Our Pau Bango for today. Yes. Thank you. And of course, before we end, thank you for thank the you 300 so subscribers that we have. Yeah, hey. And there, let there be more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, please do share us. And if you Subscribe. have any comments, if you have any suggestions, or please, questions. Yeah, questions. Please comment, please, down, yeah, below. comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe, to like, and press the notification yeah. uh, button, button if you are interested to hear more of our reviews. Yes. So thank you very thank much, you so much and God bless everyone. Bye bye.